हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो लेटली आई हैव सॉल्व ऑल द इंट्रिकल प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ एम एच इंट्रिकेशन बी फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी टेन टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री पर्सनली आई फील दैट दिस वाज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट टॉप प्रॉब्लम ऑफ एम एच इंट्रिकेशन बी एंड सो आई थॉट ऑफ शेयरिंग दिस विद यू गाइस सो लेट्स बिगिन वी हैव दिस इंट्रिकल फ्रॉम जीरो टू वन बाई टी Yeah, and first of all, we can exchange the sum in the integral. Since this converges absolutely for every values of x that the integral is running through, yeah, from n equals to zero to infinity, and uh, that is n plus three, n plus two, n plus one by three factorial. Cos n plus three c n is the same as n plus three c three, and x to the power n dx. Now we can just integrate sum from n equals to zero to infinity. N plus three, n plus two, n plus one by six, and then x to the power n plus one by n plus one. It's going from zero to half. We can just cut this out. That's just constant, so it doesn't matter. And sum from n equals to zero to infinity. This is n plus three, n plus two by six. This is one by two to the power n plus one minus zero. Doesn't matter. So this is effectively uh, one by twelve can be taken out. And then sum from n equals to n equals to zero to infinity, and then n square plus five n plus six and one by two to the power n. So we have this. Now at this point, we come to realize that. uh we need to find the values for sum of n equals to 0 to infinity n square 1 by 2 to the power n yeah 1 by 2 to the power n also sum of n equals to 0 to infinity n times 1 by 2 to the power n yeah and also sum of n equals to 0 to infinity One by two to the power. N. Of course, we can find the third one since it's just a symmetric series. But the, for the first and second one, it's an automatic cosymmetric series. It's a quadratic cosymmetric series. So these two can be a little tough, tougher to deal with. But don't do it. We will obviously deal over here. Okay. So now to deal with these two sums. Uh, I have an idea. Basically, let us first deal with this sum. Sum from n equals to zero to infinity, x by two to the power n, where x is in between uh, two to minus two. In that case, this will be a symmetric series that converges. So its sum will be. Uh, One by one minus x by two, so that is two by two minus x. Now let's differentiate both the sides. That gives us sum from n equals to zero to infinity, and then n times x by two to the power n minus one. Yeah. And if we differentiate the other side, and then times one by two as well, yeah, and times x by two to the power minus one, times one by two. And the other sides, when differentiated, gives us two by two minus x whole square. Yeah. The the negative signs will cancel, so we get we get this. Now if we try to substitute x as one, we get that. Sum of 
n equals to 0 to infinity of n times 1 by 2 to the power n minus 1 times 2. So 2 to the power n is actually 2 by 2 minus 1 whole square. So that's 2. Can you see how easily we have solved this arithmetical geometric series? So this is the sum for this arithmetical geometric series. Really easy with differentiation. And the next, now for next thing, we can again differentiate this expression. If we do that, we get sum from n equals to zero to infinity, <coughs> n n minus one times x by two to the power n minus 2 and we again get a 1 by 2 so that's 1 by 2 is square and if we differentiate this is 2 times uh, 2 by 2 minus x whole cube okay. this is actually minus 2 but we also get a minus sign that cancels out so this is 4 by 2 minus x whole cube and now if we just uh, substitute uh, x as 1 we get sum from n equals to 0 to infinity n square by 2 to the power n yeah and then minus sum from n equals to 0 to infinity uh, this will be n by 2 to the power n this is equal equals to substituting x as 1 over here as well 4 by 1 cube that's just 4 and now we know that this sum is actually 2 so sum from n equals to 0 to infinity of n square by 2n to the power n minus 2 is equals to 4 that implies sum from n equals to 0 to infinity of n square by 2 to the power n is actually 6 and in this way, we have solved this quadratic or geometric series as well. Now, if we have these two, uh, for the last one, we can do it by ourselves as well. For this just geometric series, we can have sum from n equals to 0 to infinity. And note that we could put x equals to 1 in all these cases, because the initial range for x was from minus 2 to 2. Yeah? Now, if substitute x as 1 over here, sum of this expression is 2 by 2 minus 1 so it's just 2 so now we have all these sum values yeah? and now with this we can definitely solve this expression so we can just uh, uh, distribute it and do the summations so this first of all the quadratic cosimetric series sums up to 6 yeah and then 5 times 2 and then 6 times 2 yeah 4 and it was 2 okay yeah, that's that's good and now this is a 12 10 22 6 28 28 by 12 that's 7 by 3 i think that's 7 by 3 is the answer yeah it is it is the 7 by 3 is the answer now, now if you have stayed up to this long, I will. I can also show you an alternative way for summing these things. For summing, for, without differentiation, how to know the sum of the quadratic geometric series and this arithmetic geometric series and this one. Okay, so let's also do an alternative way. Uh, basically, you know that a sum from n equals to zero to infinity of n plus 1 uh, whole square uh, by 2 to the power n plus 1 is equals to sum of uh, n equals to 0 to infinity of n square by 2 to the power n yeah since for n equals to 0 this doesn't evaluate to anything and only from 1 it evaluates and it also goes from 1 so these two are basically equal and let us say this as s and now 
sum from n equals to 0 to infinity of n plus 1 over the square by 2 to the power n plus 1 minus n square by 2 to the power n plus 1. So this sum will be actually s minus s by 2. Yeah, 2 to the power n plus 1 over here. So there's this s by 2. So now this can be evaluated. So n equals to 0 to infinity. We have 2n plus 1 by 2 to the power n plus 1 equals to s by 2. And now, uh, basically, we should be given given this thing n equals to 0 to infinity of n by 2 to the power n. This is 2. So if we are given this, uh, now we can do this. So we have n equals to 0 to infinity. Uh, yeah, uh, for 2 to the power n plus 1 by 2 to the power n equals to s. Yeah, I'll just cancel the 2 in the denominator. Now, this is just 2 times 2 since summation of n by 2 to the power n is just 2, and the other one is also 2. S, so, s is just 6. So, in this way, we can also find out. And for, if you have to find out this as well. If you want to find out this, so I think you have understood, yeah. Sum of n by 2 to the power n is 2, and also 1 by 2 to the power n is 2. So we have substituted those values. And now the other thing, sum of n equals to 0 to infinity of n plus 1 by 2 to the power n minus n 2 to the power n plus 1 minus n by is equals to sum of n by 2 to the power n so these are equal let's say it s and then sum from n equals to 0 to infinity of n plus 1 by 2 to the power n plus 1 minus n by 2 to the power n plus 1 equals to s by 2 as we did previously and sum from n equals to 0 to infinity of 1 by 2 to the power n plus 1 equals to s by 2 and then sum from n equals to 0 to infinity of 1 by 2 to the power n equals to s and this is the remainder series this can be done easily this is 2 so that's why this is also 2 s is 2 so this was the alternative way hope you enjoyed the video and hope you were able to solve this integral from two different ways i hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching and look forward to the next video